It's the Fueled by Ramen 15th anniversary. Fueled by Ramen was always a label where I would go to their website, you know, religiously and check what kind of bands they were signing and what releases were coming out. You know, ever since I was like 13, 14 years old when I was getting into punk rock and ska music. So they were always on, you know, my top three labels to sign to. I met Johnny Minardi, he's the A&R guy over at Fueled by, in, uh, I think it was early 2008, and I was playing an acoustic show out in Chicago, or on the outskirts of Chicago, and he came out to one of the shows and he really liked it, and then I ended up talking to him for a while. So we were playing a lot of local shows, it was around 2004. The guy that we were working with in Franklin, um, he was kind of our manager at the time, and he, uh, he was like, you know this guy, he has this label. I always loved all the bands on Fuel by Robin. They were always like the label that I was, you know, saying like if I were to get signed, Fuel by Robin would be the one that I would love to go to. A couple people from the label came down and um, watched us play older songs and newer, I think we played Hallelujah for them, Here We Go Again, like, uh, I don't know, a total of like five songs. And thank God they liked it because we were really excited. From then on, I was like, okay, what are we gonna do? And we, we recorded most of those songs and they showed up on our album, which was on Fuel by Robin. We started doing demos ourselves just on our laptop and posting it to our personal, you know, web MySpace or Pure Volume and, and uh, just tried to send out links to anybody that was in a band that, that we were fans of in, in hopes that they would listen. And, um, somehow we got lucky enough and, and Pete listened and uh, contacted us so that was our first introduction to Fuel by Ramen. I think that Fuel by Ramen is like such a close-knit family um, that it makes everything so much easier and, and like uh, it's just like tiny. He drove out and um, bought us Del Taco and uh, listened to the songs and then said that he wanted to sign us when we were driving him back to his hotel. So. It all just happened within like two weeks, I think, from him listening to the songs. I think the main reason we signed to Fuel by Ramen was definitely uh, being a priority on the label, as opposed to a lot of labels where they'll sign like literally 40 to 50 bands. Uh, Fuel by Ramen said, you're the only band we're signing in 2009, and we have seven releases total. And just hearing that was phenomenal. They know exactly what they're doing, and, and they're all smart people, but everybody there, treat us so well. It's like every time I go to New York and I visit the offices, it's like a family reunion. It's like everybody's like, you know, uncles, aunts, and grandparents, and you know, everything. It's like, everybody just treats you so well, whether you're the smallest band to the largest band on their label. Fueled by Ramen is a label that will take us to the next level when we're ready. They'll grow with us instead of just uh, stifling our creativity and kind of keeping our career at a plateau. Uh, when we grow, they grow. And you know, I talk to I talk to everybody at the label almost every day, and it just seems like I'm talking to friends. It doesn't even sound or feel like like a business thing or like this is my job. It's like it's kind of unreal. It's a by ramen, anniversary.